Hello friends, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a mass broadcast off of a Google Sheet using NA10. Yeah, so the first thing I will assume is you have watched the setup video on the channel uh, here. I'll have it linked in the description too. So, uh, here it is. Hello, friends. I'll have this. Uh, I'll have this linked in the description, so you can just watch this, and then these two videos will help you set up the whole system we're about to use. It's quite simple, quite straightforward, but using NHN and Waha as our API for WhatsApp. So first things first, go to your NHN install. Then you will press, you know, new workflow or, you know, create workflow. Let's say we have it triggered manually. Um, I'll also show you the setup on Google Cloud. So Google Sheet. So, so you do get pro in sheets, like credential, create new credential, copy this link, go to your Google Cloud you know, console. Uh, up here, uh, press OAuth client ID, web application, let's just say, uh, add URL and create. And these are your details, never share them with anyone. Uh, this uh, this is going to be deleted after the video, so then it's not going to be live anymore. Back here, put the client ID here, the secret here, and sign in. Use the uh, the Google account you signed in of the account that the console is signed into, and then connected. Nice. So now we go here and see we have a list of Google Sheets from our Google Drive. Um, to make sure if it also doesn't appear, you have to enable the Google Sheets API. So type in Google Sheets API here. So uh, it'll be enable. This is enable here. And then when you also Okay, yeah, so you also need to enable the scopes. Um, not what that is. Okay, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, so you, na you enable the API and that's all good, that's all sorted. So then from this list, let's go to our Google Drive. Um, let's say card okay. <laughs> we will go here. So we have uh yeah, so let's say we go Google Sheet. We have a fresh sheet here, so let's say uh, WhatsApp, what to, uh, WhatsApp automation. Uh, let's call our first sheet broadcast list. So let's say name, number, uh, message. Now you can put the message wherever you want. You could even put it, you know, in the actual workflow. It's probably easier to do that than here. So that's fine. We'll just have that. Okay, so name, John. Let's say uh, Alex James. Okay. Uh, and then. For the number, 
we are going to use just one number but you can put as many numbers as you want here okay so it has to be in this format so four four Nice. So now Okay. So this is the number we want to send it to, right? I'm gonna just uh have uh three three messages. So let's go back to our flow. You may need to have it refresh for a sec. So the the actual sheet shows. Oh what's that? Yeah, what's up automation? The machine broadcast list. Uh okay, that's fine. Get the the rows. Nice. We have the information we want. So now loop loop over items so we can iterate through it so now we want to send it to this will be oh, uh, uh -huh. send um, so nice we have the information here the number for the session will be default because we're using the default uh, and free the free one so there we go and then our text message is hmm, we could put a node here uh data transformation okay let's say we have message now um whatsapp supports markdown so if you wanted to a uh let's see test message or then let's say we're going to put the name here. Test message for James. Oh, I just said that. Test <laughs> message for James or for John. Um, I want to know if this. That is correct. You say put that number. And then let's say go to your having a great day. Uh, okay, that's fine. So the message they test us will be this message. So the number I send it to is this. Now we will have these. Yep, yeah, okay. So now in the WhatsApp business, it's going to send three messages. From our Google Sheet, we have the names and numbers. Then we see here, and then we choose to test it. We'll see. Have test one. Oh, what is it?
So, after one hour of troubleshooting, uh, I found the issue was simply I had to put at c.us. That's it. So, everything is the same. Entirely the same. Um, I also recommend you put a wait node here. The reason for that is to make it seem more human as well. So let's say you send messages. So just to clarify also, you have your number. You have to put at c.us. So this is your number. That's up until here. So that's fine. That's sorted. Let's just refresh. You'll see here it sends it. So hey John, we just want to test it once, okay? Uh, that's fine. Get our things. And then, yeah, our number is here. I have it on the uh, edit field, so I can edit stuff here. But you actually won't, you, you won't, you don't need to have this, the number here. So I'm just gonna delete it just to show you it'll work if you choose to put it from your Google Sheet. So let's have it here. Say I number. Okay. Uh. I'd say it's sort of best practices to edit the field and set the field for your data just so it's much easier to, um, to manipulate and work with later but you know you can you can do you um so that i mean that's pretty much it so let's just test we should send three messages uh let's make sure and check so hey john hey john there's a wait time between one and ten seconds. Hey Andrew. And then hey Dimitri. And then if you go through this, you'll see that it iterated through each one individually. So John, Andrew, Dimitri, and it sent it to the same number that you chose each time. So let's say I just choose this one. So that number, so I should send the final message of hey Dimitri to this number. So we're going to refresh. Let's just delete these. Nice. So it has worked on. So let's see. So hey John, hey Andrew, and then the final one should send to this guy. Yep. So you can see if you can send it to multiple numbers and yeah simple this works good so i hope you enjoyed the video uh please subscribe and i enjoy making this sort of uh these sort of videos so i'm looking forward to the next one Bye bye